Margaret. Good morning, everybody. I have Jerry Colangelo here. He is the chairman of the Phoenix Suns as well as the head of USA Basketball. Jerry, so much. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Nice to be with you. So very quick question off the top here. You know, I know that you help make Phoenix a city with four major team sport franchises in a relatively short amount of time. How do you keep uh, people in the seats? How do you keep them buying a product that's ultimately pretty discretionary in an economy like this one? Well, you have to respond to the marketplace. You have to uh, understand what the market can can afford. Uh, but there's a role for the entertainment uh, uh, industry because when things are bad, people are looking for outlets, looking for escapes. And professional sports, college sports are, are a good example of if they respond to the market, can do quite well even in poor times. Have you had to cut prices, for instance, for tickets to get people in, or do you think that pricing integrity is something that teams need to hold on to? It's a combination of both. I think you have to uh, package, you have to promote, probably more so in difficult times, and make it more appealing for, for family participation. Uh, but ticket integrity is also part of uh, what you must keep going in terms of the future. Now, I know it's a big year, an epic summer, you might call it, for free agency. Your big star, Mari Stoudemire, is going to be a free agent this summer. How is this all going to shake out, Jerry? Well, it's probably the biggest year ever for free agency uh, in the NBA, and, and it'll be interesting to see what kind of switches take place. You know, some of the big market cities have a lot of money, the Knicks, the Nets, the Chicago Bulls, Miami, um, and a lot of the big names, be it uh, uh, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and Chris, Chris Bosh and so forth, are all looking for the possibility of joining up together. Are we going to see more one-year one deals for these big stars? I don't think so. I, I think um, I think there could be kind of a seismic switch this summer uh, in terms of uh, power in the in the NBA, in terms of who which teams are going to be relevant over the next four or five years. I know you have a book coming out about uh, the Redeem team, the team that won the gold medal in 2008. I know you're the head of USA Basketball. Tell me very quickly here, um, are you concerned about some of those free agents not being able to practice if they're not signed to teams this summer? Well, they they need to get their business taken care of, and, and the book is out, Return of the Gold. It, uh, it kind of chronicalizes what took place over the last three, four years in USA basketball and winning the gold medal in China and how all of these personalities came together for a common good and uh, ultimately getting the, the ultimate prize. And they're going to come together again? I think they will because they've all indicated they want to.